Mr. Pavlenko, thank you very much for your address, for bringing to us directly the words of the President of Ukraine. Uh, we stand with you at this difficult time. It was a great uh, honor and privilege for me to uh, be in Kiev at the time of a Maidan and also to return in July of this year. Um, the next order for the day is the election of a Bureau of the Assembly, starting with the President. Uh, the Standing Committee has received only one nomination, that of Mr. Mike Turner from the United States. There being only one candidate for the post, the election can take place by acclamation, which I now invite the Assembly to do. Mike, we are delighted, absolutely delighted, that you have um, consented to uh, take this position. Uh, this is a great moment for our assembly, and uh, I'd like to invite you to say a few words. Well, first off, thank you so much uh, for this honor uh, at what is an incredibly important time. I want to thank Nicole Ameline, uh, Hugh Bailey, and Carl Lammers, who are my uh, nominating team, and of course, the U.S. delegation for their support. But I particularly want to thank uh, Hugh for his great leadership that we have seen over the past two years. Uh, you know that uh, Hugh has not only led our organization internally, but he's also made certain that the a message of the NATO PA was taken outside into um, the, the nations of, uh, that make up our NATO alliance, and all the way to the Hill for the U.S. Congress. And you've heard me tell the story of the days which I call Hugh on the Hill, uh, where Hugh has gone to lobby members of Congress to tell them the important story of NATO and the importance for their support. Uh, he has persuaded a number of members of Congress on the importance of NATO and the importance of their voice uh, being heard in the U.S. Congress so that we can continue a strong support. And I want to thank Hugh also for his strong words that he said today. Um, when we look at the challenges, the challenges that were in all of our questions as we faced the Secretary General today, uh, we know that over the next two years it's going to be very important for not just the independent security of our nations, but the security of the world that we address with a very strong response the issue of Russia violating international agreements and others' sovereign integrity, the issue of ISIS, and as we see what's happening in, in, in Africa. Uh, but on the particular issue of, of Russia, I know that we all share the, uh, the same sentiment that NATO is a defensive alliance. It can never be seen as an offense or as provocative. Uh, and its boundaries, as we look to uh, those who aspire to be part of membership of NATO, uh, see it uh, not as a provocative act, but as a defensive act. And certainly, uh, those who would view it otherwise only view it as a, um, an impediment to their own aggression and their own, own adventuresomeness. Uh, with this, I know we have a strong and united voice, and I am looking forward to being uh, the president of the organization for the tech next two years as we come together and lead our joint message of the strength of NATO and this defensive alliance. Thank you. I think the warmth of your reception, uh, Mike, tells you all that you need to know. But we're very glad to have you as our new president, and we'll be right behind you as you lead this assembly forward. Thank you. I'd also like to um, take this opportunity to thank the outgoing vice presidents of the assembly for their valuable contributions to the work of the assembly. Cheryl Gallant from Canada, Nicole Nicole Ameline from France. Applause 
and of course, Dr. Carl Lammers, my predecessor as president, who has just completed two years as our vice president. I'd also like to um, thank uh, Daniel Bacalain um, from Belgium, who relinquished his post as vice president when he was appointed to the Belgian government. And the bureau, as I announced this morning, uh, appointed Ojas Eriks Kalnins to serve the remainder of Daniel's uh, mandate, which of course ends today. You may say, well, why did we appoint Ojas for a day? We appointed him pers firstly because he has a great deal to bring to the assembly, and secondly, because former vice presidents serve for a further two years as, uh, uh, um, uh, as members of a bureau. And uh, we wanted to make sure uh, that uh, Ojas was there. Uh, we now proceed to the election of the vice presidents. There are five positions to be filled. One of the current vice presidents, Gabriel Vlaza from Romania, is eligible for re-election. And we have uh, four other candidates uh, nominated for four places. They are Paolo Ali for Italy, Angeline Isink from the Netherlands, uh, Lord Jopling from the United Kingdom and Thomas Marino from the, the United States. So I'd like to propose that those four, plus Gabriel Vlaza, of course, from Romania, uh, be elected by acclamation. Uh, well, I declare the five of you elected. Thank you for agreeing to give this service to the Assembly. Notre Assemblée a deux langues officielles, le français et l'anglais. Aussi, uh, je demande maintenant à uh, Madame Nicole Ameline, uh, vice-présidente et membre de la délégation Français de prendre place au fauteuil présidentiel. And from now on, you will get a much better quality of French. 